he looked at her and said, this is what I want. This is my woman. I'm not looking anywhere else. He took the royal crown and put it on her head and started celebration again. The Bible says they had the feast of Esther. The celebration that had ended with Vashti's rebellion now introduced a brand new celebration in the world. Folks, I'm going to tell you what. We are here today to join the celebration of the ages, of celebrating the grace of God and our response to Calvary. Every person that comes and repents, the Bible says the angels rejoice over one sinner that comes and repents. Every time you go down in water in the name of Jesus, heaven starts celebrating again. And the Bible says that the Spirit of God is so awesome, the angels desire to look into this. What is this Holy Ghost speaking with tongues? This is awesome. This is God saying, you're mine, and I love you, and we're going to learn how to be in oneness together, and you're going to speak my language. You're going to join with me. Would you stand right now all over this building? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Not only do I want to know God, I want God to know me. If you're here today and you say, God, I'm not just in it for today. I'm not just in it as long as I'm blessed I'm not just here because I have a couple little needs, and as long as you take care of my needs, I'm here and I'm going to love you. But you say, you know what, God? I've been exposed to your presence. I felt the anointing. And if I could have this in my life all day, every day, then this is what I want. I want to see if there's anybody here today that wants to be more than just a denomination. More than just another woman. More than somebody that's responded to a call. Is there anybody here today that says, but I want to be chosen. I want to be obedient. Let's lift our hands all over this building and let's pray. Father, we are coming to you right now in the name of Jesus. Give us a heart that will love you. Give us a passion for your presence. Jesus. Why don't you take someone by the hand and bring them with you and let's all come to these altars together. If you're here today and you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you can receive it. Grace makes it possible. It's for everybody. There is no one that is excluded. If you're here today and you say, I need to be forgiven. I need to be washed. I'm ready to start a new life. Come on. Take someone with you. Say, let's go together. We're in this forever. This is not just a denomination, my friends. This is a relationship. This is a revelation. This is an experience. Come, come, come. That's right. He's calling. He's drawing. Whosoever will. No one is excluded. Everyone has the opportunity. But your response, the level of your response, determines what's going to happen. Determines how deep grace takes hold. How powerful the transformation. Tell him, I'm in it for forever. I don't want a one night stand. I want a lifetime of loving. I felt the love. <laughs> I want to live the life. Come on, that's right. All over this building. God's spirit is working. His spirit is flowing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those of you that already know, already have the flow of the spirit of God, find someone and pray with them right now. Begin to lay your hands on and touch these people that are here. Those of you that are already coming into that communion, that celebration with God. Hallelujah. Just soak it in. Soak it in. God is here. 